Welcome to the Tarleton State University Student Chapter of the Wildlife Society YouTube channel. I'm Molly Koch and today we're going to be going over how to set several arthropod traps. The first trap that we're going to set today is called a pitfall trap. The materials you'll need to set a pitfall trap are two 8 ounce clear plastic cups, one trowel for digging, and antifreeze. We're going to start by digging a hole about the same depth as the clear plastic cups. Now that we've dug our hole, we can go ahead and place our two clear plastic cups in the hole. You want to fill in all the gaps around the cup so that if any creatures come across it, they're not going to fall into that gap. They're going to fall into our cup. Just like that. Now the reason that we use two clear plastic cups is because sometimes when you're putting the dirt back in to fill the holes, you get it inside the cup. Now we have a clean cup that we can use to fill with our antifreeze. Now the last thing we want to do is pour some antifreeze into our pitfall trap. You want about maybe one inch of antifreeze to cover the bottom of the cup and you don't need to be excessive with the amount you use. The purpose of setting a pitfall trap is so that any bugs that crawl across the ground will be attracted to the sweet smell of the antifreeze and will fall in the cup. The antifreeze acts as a preservative to help keep your insects intact for an analysis later. The next type of trap that I'm going to teach you guys how to set is called a beeble or a pan trap. The materials required for this type of trap are something to suspend your cup, something to put that into the ground, a cup that's colored in some kind of fluorescent color. Today we're going to be using white to target generalist pollinators and more antifreeze. To start we're going to take our suspension device and we're going to just use our mallet to get it into the ground. Make sure that it's nice and secure and then you're going to go ahead and place your cup just like that. The last step is to take your antifreeze again and fill about one inch of the cup. The purpose of a beeble or pan trap is to attract pollinators. You can use any color of cup that you want to use, just make sure it's specific to the type of pollinator you're trying to attract. Some things to note about these types of traps that we talked about today. Both of these traps should be left out for 24 hours to allow ample time to collect a proper sample of insects. Since both of these traps are using antifreeze as the attractant, this will be considered lethal take. If you're not comfortable with using lethal take, consider using soapy dishwater instead of antifreeze. Thank you for uh, subscribing to our channel.